start to drop. The fight for future would be the fight for relevance. Unfortunately, a legion of proud student athletes in New York City would be the new era's whipping boys. About those who play college football, Grantlin Rice wrote, when the one great scorer comes to write against your name, he'll not mark won or lost, but how you played the game. Trouble is, Bernard Goldberg reports, so few people believe that. Columbia, the Ivy League, a place synonymous with quality. Even the football team is in a class by itself. If they lose tomorrow at Princeton, Columbia will break the all-time major college football record for the most consecutive losses, 35. The last time the Lions had won was October 1983. The seniors hadn't won a game in their entire varsity careers. There were students who looked at us as players and mocked us, and uh, on a daily basis, we'd take ribbing and ridicule, and it was not easy to deal with. I'd like to see him lose to Princeton just to have the streak. We've gotten this far. We might as well just go for the record, I mean, and be famous for something. <laughs> we can't be the best. Why not be the worst? I can't condone people who mock us because we're losing, and it's, it's not a joke. It's, it's a real problem that we have to get winning. Once we win and once we get a really good program going, we're going to take all this media attention that we've been getting, and we're going to turn it around, and this Columbia's going to be the biggest thing I hit in New York City. The national media frenzy captured the attention of NFL Films, which produced a film about the streak. Your medal's going to get tested early. It will have nothing to do with how fast you run, how big you are, and how strong you are. It'll have to do with, with what's in that chest cavity. It'll have to do with what's up here, gentlemen, that will win and lose the football game. It's your game to have and to take with you. So let's go get it, okay? The cameras focused on the Dartmouth-Columbia game. For the senior Lions, it was the last home contest of their college careers. Matt Sodal played the game of his life, making 19 unassisted tackles and lifting the team on his back. But with 24 seconds left in the game, Dartmouth led 12 to 10. God, please help me. Come on, girl. I love it. The Lions, with the ball on the Dartmouth 18, needed a field goal to win. I believe it. I believe it. That was it, finality. And you say, I'm not playing another down in my life. And you realize that that was it. So I think you just say, listen, we have some, we have, uh, some victories in our hearts, and that's, that's all, we, all we can look back at.